another episode of Tea with Chelsea T. I'm your host, Chelsea T. Now it took me a few days to process the news of LeBron James signing a four-year, $154 million deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. But now I'm going to say one thing, and I'm going to be very clear about it. This move will be the worst move of LeBron James' career for his legacy. For starters, I'm going to point out the obvious fact that LeBron has a habit of playing leapfrog in the NBA. Three teams in the last six years? Let's compare that to NBA legends who have won multiple championships on one team. Bill Russell, who won 11 championships with the Boston Celtics. Michael Jordan, who won six rings with the Chicago Bulls. Tim Duncan, who won five with the San Antonio Spurs. And then you have Magic and the Black Mamba, who both won five rings with the Los Angeles Lakers. That's pure greatness. Secondly, it's not even a guarantee that LeBron will even make the Western Conference Finals. But if he does, imagine if he loses in the NBA Finals again. That'll turn his 3-6 record in the NBA Finals to 3-7. 10 NBA Finals appearances and 3 rings to show for it? Is that really how a legend would want to be remembered? That brings me to my other point. It seems as if not many players in the league want to play with LeBron. Look at Kyrie Irving. He's a five-time NBA All-Star who helped LeBron give the city of Cleveland their first championship in 2016. Then he said, hey, I want my own legacy. I want my own team. Let's go to Boston. Then you look at the recent signing of Boogie Cousins to the Golden State Warriors. Never mind his injury history, but obviously he feels that playing with the Golden State Warriors is his best chance at a ring and not with LeBron James. This league is most certainly evolving and the motto, if you can't beat them, join them, is at an all-time high. But maybe LeBron should get a little bit more respect for not joining them and trying to beat them. Unlike Kevin Durant, LeBron literally put himself in the face of the Golden State Warriors, who are not only his NBA rival, but now his division rival, in all four rings. Much respect to LeBron James, but that's going to be a lot more pressure on his shoulders these next four years. And while only two players in NBA history have won multiple championships on three different teams, Robert Morey and John Sally, I'm afraid his desire for a ring will ultimately tarnish his own legacy. I do hope I'm wrong, though. Join me next time for another episode of Tea with Chelsea Tea for your most enticing commentary in this undying world of sports.